Hello, people of Earth and beyond! I am Erin Wilson, and today I am going to be doing a little thing called the bookshelf tour. My problem is, my bookshelf is not just one bookshelf. My bookshelf is actually separated into two different parts. But I should be getting another shipment of books within the next couple of weeks, so my bookshelf is going to have to expand a wee bit. I have some books that are actually on a bookshelf thing, and other books that are over by my bed, which is where we'll be starting over in that direction there. So, with that being said, I think we are ready to get started. Let's go! Woo. Ow! I imagine that going much smoother in my mind. Okay, so let's just move all of this bed stuff out of my way. Like that. This is bookshelf part one. So, some of these books over here I have yet to read. Such as In Casseron by Catherine Fisher, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hogan, The Fault and Our Stars by John Green. I tried to start it last night, but I couldn't get myself there. I had just, literally just, finished Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver, and my head was spinning, and so, so I couldn't focus. I couldn't think about anything but Alex and so, then there's also this book, Strengthen Your Nonfiction Writing by Mary Horner. Can't see that. There we go. There we go. I'm currently working on reading it, but my time is so consumed by other things, so I haven't finished it yet. I have some pencils that really should not be on the bookshelf. So, we have the Two books in the Delirium series haven't got re I haven't picked up Requiem yet. I'm waiting to get my tablet thingy. Thank you, Figment. And I'm going to get the uh, uh, digital version so that I don't have to spend fifteen dollars on it. Yeah. But I have Delirium, and I just finished Pandemonium last night, and oh my god, Alice! <laughs> then we have the fabulous Pop Kids by Davey Havoc. You've probably seen this book cover before on my other videos, because I mention it a lot, and I have this book around a lot. I actually plan on doing a book talk on Pop Kids pretty soon. Don't know how soon, but eventually it will happen, I promise. Then we make it into the Cassandra Clare section. Okay, so we have the Infernal Devices series, which is made up of Clockwork, which is made up of Clockwork Angel. Yeah. Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess, which I have talked about in a previous video. If you want to check it out, the link is in this general direction here, where I'm flashing my hand. Yeah. It's also in the description below. If you want to check it out after the video, yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, okay. So right here, right here in this little empty slot here, is where City of Bones should be. But I haven't, I currently have loaned it out to somebody, and so I'm waiting for it to return. But that spot is where it goes. That's its home. Okay? My babies have a home. Oh, beside it is City of Ashes, the second book in the Mortal Instruments movie, which will be made into a movie, and I think it's coming out in 2014. That's the rumors. That's what I've heard. So, yeah, I'm so excited. Uh, the first one hasn't even come out yet. I'm so excited. Yeah! Woo! Then we have City of Glass, the third book in the Moral Instruments, the third book, third book in the Moral Instruments. City of Fallen Angels, which was actually the first book in the series that I read, because the person that got this for me didn't see that right there. It says book four, but you know it's cool, yeah. I got to kind of get to know who the characters were before I actually knew who they were, and then. My favorites of the series thus far, 
since we have lost souls, I stayed up till like 5 o'clock in the morning just trying to finish this book. I cried, I laughed, and I cried some more, and I cried from laughing and laughed from crying. Yeah, it's, it's like that. <laughs> so yeah, that's part one. We're going to make our way over to part dos two over that way. Let's go. Okay, so this is bookshelf part two. So first we have my little angel statue which creeps me out because let's just say I'm a Hoobian, okay? Let's, let's just keep it simple like that, okay? Okay. So first we have The Ugly Series by Scott Westerfield. I haven't read them yet. I'm, like I said before, I'm trying to get to The Fault in Our Stars. And then I'm going to read The Unbecoming of Mare Dyer. Then I'm going to read the first book in the series. I might be able to see I have the bot set. I went ahead with the bot set because it was a pretty good deal. And the shipping would be free if I spent a certain amount. And so I just went ahead with the bot set. And if I liked it, then I could just automatically go and pick up the second and third and final book. We have Divergent by Veronica Karoff. Ever exciting novel following Beatrice Pryor and her romantic adventures with a dude with a number for her name while she's trying to discover herself and discover what it really means to be dauntless. I mean Divergent. I mean, yeah. Now, the ever exciting sequel to Divergent, Insurgent. Veronica Roth, really. You screwed me up having that third book being called Allegiant. Like, what? What? Huh? Okay. Then we have The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. And of course, we have the other books in the trilogy, Catching Fire, which was my favorite out of the series. And Mockingjay, my least favorite. It just, it, so much happened that just wasn't necessary in Mockingjay. Okay, then we have Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. Then we have Ditched, A Love Story by Robin Mellon. Haven't read it yet. Then there's The Way We Fall by Megan Crew. Oh my god, this book. The ending, just the ending. Oh my god, I have so many questions still. And apparently there are two other books. I didn't know about that until very recently. And it kind of tits me off because I wanted all my answers right then. But apparently the second book came out February 2013. Don't know what the third book is called yet. Don't know anything about the third book. But the second book is called The Lives We Lost. And if anyone would like to donate that to me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, obviously. Yeah. The Talents by, I think that's a mascot. So, not bad. Not bad. It was kind of cheesy in places. I think that just has to do with the fact that it's from the perspective of a 14-year-old girl. Then we have The Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket. I actually used to have the entire series up to book 12, but I donated the entire series to a local library. And it has a sticker on it saying, Have a Dire Day. Aw, thank you! Then we have Double by Jenny Valentine. I started reading this book once. I fell asleep at like chapter three. It wasn't necessarily that it was a bad book. It just, the voice was so dry and boring in my mind. But what I find really funny is the book, book is called Double and I actually won this book amongst others that I have already mentioned in a contest. And I got all four of those books twice. I don't know if it was like a screw up in the computer and so they sent me it twice, or if I actually won it twice. But I guess you could say that I have double, double. This here is a book that I actually took off my shelf, simply because at the time I didn't think I was going to have enough room, and I really don't think I'm going to now that, since I don't think that I'm going to have room pretty soon, because I'm going to get a whole another shipment of books in. But this was a really cute book that I read a few years ago. It's called Starting with Alice 
by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor. I've read a few books in this series. It's a very realistic fiction book. Not what I usually read, but it was still a really good book. It was a really good read. I'd recommend this. I would recommend this, even though it's not quite as exciting as a lot of other books. It's still pretty good. So now, we just have the Twilight Saga. Starting with, of course, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, this one, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, Breaking Dawn, The Twilight Saga, The Official Guide. Of course, all of those were by Stephanie Meyer. Now, that's not all that I have on my bookshelf as far as books go. I also have, like, research books, like this one, 1776, by David Bacolo, or Kala, Kalo, Kaloff. I, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, sorry. As you can see from these post-it notes, I used it for research purposes. In my history class, I had to give a speech on the battle for New York and Boston and such. And those events are covered in this book. So I have the Robert Pattinson album which my grandma got for me for Christmas, I believe, Christmas, birthday, one of those things. It has pictures of Robert Pattinson in it. Basically the only thing I care about from this book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I honestly haven't read anything in this book yet. I just mostly looked at the pictures. The pictures are very exciting, I'd say. Look at that. Check it in. But yes, that is my bookshelf. That is some of the other things that I have there. I also have this picture of my golden retriever when he was a puppy. His name is Shadow. He's still alive, not living with us. He's living with my grandmother. The apartment has limits as to how many dogs you can have and how big they can be and Chateau greatly exceeds those limits.